everyone I just wanted to show you really quickly how you can log on to Burlington English on your computer this will also work on your smartphone device um, or other device um, that has a browser um, if you have an iPhone or an iPad you're going to use the Safari um, application um, I'm actually going to use Chrome on my computer here so I am going to just type in Burlington and I have searched this multiple times so it comes up very quickly so I'm going to click Burlington English it will have a pop-up here and I'm just going to click the BE login so click there Um, next, you are going to put in your username and password. So let me do that. And then log in. So when you log in as a student, you are going to select one of these two choices. It says, I am using Burlington English at school or away from school. So we are not at school. Um, we are all at our homes. So we're going to choose this one that has the little house on it. Now you have a few different options here. And I'm going to show you how to use the courses, which is new. So you'll click here. Now, you will need to ask your teacher which one of these that your teacher wants you to access, all right? Um, once your teacher tells you which one to do, um, basics, low beginners, high beginners, or low intermediate, you will select the correct one. So I'm going to use the low beginners for our example. And you have student lessons, vocabulary practice, my portfolio, and progress. We are going to go to student lessons, the first choice here. And as you can see, it's broken up into different units. We are going to do the welcome unit, which says welcome to English class. This has a 0% meaning we have not made any progress. We haven't completed any assignments yet. So we'll click here. And they have all of these parts that we must complete. So we're going to start with one, which is here. In this lesson, you're going to get ready for your English class. You can look at the picture. And then you'll move on to number two. It says read and listen. Welcome to the school. I'm your teacher. My name is Tom Smith. There is a little play button here. You can click that and it will play the audio for you. You will not be able to hear that if I click on it now. And then I'm going to click the arrow and move to the next page. This is your classroom. Again, you can read. You can also listen, read with the audio if you'd like, and then click the next page. The same, you will read both. You can also play the audio and then the next page. This is the last page, page four out of four. So you're going to read and listen. When you're finished and there are no, you can't click forward anymore, you're going to go to number three. Here on number three we have Number one, 
there's an audio, we're going to listen. Number two, there is audio for you to listen to here. And number three, there's audio here. So you're going to match the words to the correct box. Welcome to school. I'm your teacher. And that's correct. This was the teacher. And then you will match your answers for the others. When you're finished, you can click check to see if you got the correct answer. And these are all green in color. That means they're correct. If you did not get a correct answer, it will tell you. When you click check, it will be red. If it's incorrect, you can see that it's red and it asks, do you want to correct yourself? Yes, we want to get the right answers. So we're going to put the correct answers in the boxes. Check again. And those are correct. So I'm going to move on to part four. Okay. So make sure you read all of the directions and read all of the directions. These are all vocabulary. You can listen to the word pronounced and then you can record. So I'll record my voice. Classroom. As you can see, it turned green all the way around, which means that I had a correct pronunciation. This tells you a translation. If I don't know what classroom means, I can click here. This is Arabic and it is a translation for classroom. If you speak Kurdish, you will not be able to get a translation here. Um, but uh, many of you, if you speak Arabic or Spanish or um, lots of other languages are on here, but Kurdish is not, unfortunately. If your language is not on here, you can use your phone and translate this word. All right. I hope that helps you. Once you've completed all of the exercises, you can move on to the next lesson, which is under personal information. And then you would do this lesson. You work your way all the way down until all of these are at 100%. Okay. If you have any questions, make sure you reach out to your teacher, uh, send them a message, give them a call. They'll be happy to help you. Have a great day.